What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a personal video camera by the company Best Decker, or Best Steaker, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I'll put it up on the screen for you guys and you guys can decide how to pronounce it. This is going to be the HDV5052. So the company sells these on Amazon, and I'll put links down below on where you can buy it for yourself, and it does come in just the one color of black and it costs $120. So this right here is the box, and I think this is packaged very nicely. It's nice and um, shrink wrap sealed, and it does have the branding on it too with that company name. So I do like that a lot that they they brand this well. This product also has all these specifications on the back of the box. And while I'm opening this, I am going to read some of the specifications of the HDV5052. It records video in a maximum setting of 1080p. Um, 20 megapixels and at the 1080p setting you can record in 30 FPS and then you can go down to settings of 720p with 60 FPS and 720p with 30 FPS. So the camera has an HDMI and USB output, it has a photo mode and it has a 3 inch touchscreen LCD display. It has a little mount for a tripod and you can also use a full SD card or a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes max. It has a built-in microphone, 16 times digital zoom, Wi-Fi connectability, and what I'm very excited about, IR night vision mode. So I've never had a camera that had night vision mode before and I'm looking forward to that a lot. So opening this up here, we have a bunch of cables. We have an AV cable, a little micro USB cable, and then what looks to be an HDMI cable. And like I said, it does have a USB and HDMI output, and it does, I believe, have an AV output as well, which is why they include that AV cable. And then this does come with two rechargeable batteries and a charger. So the two batteries it includes are Actiforce 3.8 volt 1200 milliamp rechargeable lithium ion batteries, and it comes with a charger. And 1200 milliamps, it's not the biggest, but I mean, if you keep one of them charged at all times while you're using the other one, you should be good. Something I found a bit interesting on their website is it states when the battery is fully charged, it can take videos and pictures for a long time. And I thought that was kind of funny how they didn't really say a time, it just said for a long time. I thought that was a little humorous and that is something that could be changed up and maybe give us a more accurate time of how long it does work for. So that's how you would insert the battery into the charger and as you can see this one is already pre-charged because the little green LED indicator light did come on there. And then we have a user manual and I'm going to briefly look at this. It does appear to be written in English which is a good thing and the camera itself comes with a nice little case too. The little carrying case says dv.com and opening this up here is going to be the camera and it has a a nice glossy black finish to it and I like that a lot. I think that looks very nice. So the battery attaches to the back of the camera and then the left hand side has the flip out display and the right hand side has the strap that you put your hand in. And then on the top of the camera there's the zoom feature and a couple of buttons. And the strap on the side says DVC and then under it it says digital video camera. And I, I kind of was hoping that that would say the brand name instead of DVC because DVC seems like a generic thing that they put on a bunch of different cameras so I was hoping that would say Bestica or however however you pronounce that name but that's not a huge issue the strap does feel a little bit on the cheaper side though it does feel a little bit lightweight and then on the front of the camera on the left hand side you have the little light that goes with the IR night vision feature and then you have the lens itself and one big thing I'm noticing is that there's no lens protection there's no lens cover feature and there's no little cover that you can clip on either so that's kind of a big con for me but I'll talk about that later on and I'm gonna open up the display now and take a look at it and opening it up I already inserted the battery the display comes on automatically and it is a touchscreen display it's three inches long or three inches diagonally and it has a LCD display and then on the inside here are some controls the menu controls and going into the different modes and you can get access to the little ports too for AV and micro USB and HDMI. So if you look very closely you can see the little micro SD card slot over here on the right and then on the back of the camera towards the right there's the red button to actually begin recording and then right above the battery there's two little lights one says busy and the other one says CHG which I'm guessing stands for charge. And then on the bottom of the camera, there's the little area to screw in a tripod mount, and there's the little SD card slot, full-size SD card slot. 
and I am going to move on to actually testing out this camera and recording some video at the highest setting of 1080p 30 FPS and I'm going to show you guys that footage. Now I am going to upload that as a separate video because I want to upload the raw footage directly from the camera to YouTube. I don't want to put it through any editing software that could possibly reduce the quality. So right down below in the description the first link will be a link to the video of the testing of the camera and the footage I get and I am going to test indoors and outdoors and I'm going to test the zoom feature as well all in one clip. What I'm going to show you guys right now is the IR feature in a completely dark setting with no light whatsoever and I am I'm okay with putting this through the video editing software because I'm not really looking for like quality with this as much as I'm looking for how well it illuminates a dark spot so I don't mind if this reduces the quality slightly in order to show you guys on YouTube. So in my personal opinion, the IR feature worked phenomenally. I was very surprised with how well I could see everything. Now mind you, this room is completely dark. Without the camera, I cannot see a single thing. I can't even see my hand in front of me and this thing worked great. It was completely, I, I don't know if I was just blown away because I've never had an IR night vision camera before. But I love this. I thought this was so cool that it could see this well in a pitch dark setting. And I thought the quality was pretty good too. I thought the quality was pretty crisp and clear for something like that in a completely dark setting. You can turn on the IR mode in the middle of shooting too, which I found pretty cool. You don't have to stop the clip in order to turn on the IR mode. And I like that a lot. So I am going to now move on to the reviewing aspect of this. and. Like I said, the first link down below will have the clip to the actual raw footage that I took just in the normal mode, indoors and outdoors. So I thought overall that this was a great beginner camera and it had a nice presentation. The branding was nice. It was packaged very nice with a lot of great accessories. The camera does have some flaws. The touchscreen requires a bit more pressure from the finger than your phone would normally, but it does function fine. And I do need to see some sort of lens covering there. There does need to be, if it's not a built-in lens cover they need to include something that you can plop on the end of the camera there to protect your lens when you're not using it and then like I said that strap felt a little bit light and cheap but it didn't break on me or anything so I can't really complain about that too much I did find that the zoom feature on the top also kind of stuck a little bit when I would press it it kind of would stick in one spot so that was a little bit of an issue but it wasn't major as for the video quality it was it was what I expected to be for 30 FPS. It was a little bit fuzzy. And if you look at the the link I have down below with the quality test, you'll see what I'm talking about. Indoors, it was definitely fuzzy. And then outdoors, it was pretty good. The It didn't really seem to auto-focus when I would go to something close up. And the zoom feature wasn't exactly smooth either. It was kind of a bit choppy when it was zooming. But it was a good camera. I mean, as far as like a beginner camera goes, I wouldn't necessarily use it for something advanced but it's a great like camera say for filming home videos and filming your kids and that display does flip all the way around too if you want to film yourself and see what you look like while you're talking and I found the audio quality to be, to be okay it was what I was expecting for the built-in microphone I also thought that this could use a software upgrade I felt like when I was navigating through the menu it kind of felt like a camera like that you would use 10 years ago as far as the menu and the settings looked. I just feel like if they gave it a little software upgrade and made everything look a bit newer in the menu and like in that little hello message when you first start up the camera, I felt like that could really spruce things up and make the camera feel a bit more high end. I liked all the different outputs this camera had and the little SD card slots, how it had two of those. I also liked the Wi-Fi connectability and what I loved most about this camera was that IR night vision feature. And I'm sure there's a little bit of bias on my end just because this is the first camera I've had with the IR feature, but I just found that it worked great and I was able to see such, such a clear image in such pitch dark settings. I thought that was really cool and I thought that was very neat. Now, as far as the price on this camera goes, I could genuinely see myself paying like 80 to 85 for this camera. I think the price of 120 is a bit on the higher end. Like I said, this is a good beginner camera and a good family camera, but I wouldn't exactly use this for something advanced like the video reviews I do. I just don't find the picture to be clear and crisp enough for me to use it for something advanced like that, but this would be a great home movie camera. 
and that IR function is really cool too to mess around with. I'm definitely going to use this camera for any night videos I do for you guys. So overall, great beginner camera with an awesome IR feature, and they do need to add a couple things and maybe come down with the price a bit, but I would still give it an 8 out of 10. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below, and if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing product reviews just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.